Wolves Community TV presents Hockey Talk with the Olds Grizzlies. Hockey Talk with the Olds Grizzlies is sponsored by Bogmer CIR Realty and Olds. With us now is uh, the head coach, Dana Lottery. Coach, uh, your reactions to this game? Uh, it was uh, a good win at home. Yeah, I think uh, a good win and home are all three <laughs> three great words that come together. But I thought the guys played well for 60 minutes. A couple of lapses out there. Um, you know, I thought in the last couple of minutes when we called the timeout, they were just kind of taking it for granted. And I said, finish the game the way we started. And, uh, you know, we did. And we got the win. You virtually outshot them 3-1. to one. Yeah, I mean, we did have a lot of power play opportunities, so you got to take that in uh, consideration. But, you know, it's it's there. That's the way the game is. you got to take advantage of those opportunities. The um, the, the play of number 14, Noski, I, I was quite impressed with him. Yeah, he's great. He's uh, low center of gravity, doesn't get knocked over. He's The puck seems to stick to him there, and then he's got great vision and a great shot and a release, and, you know, he put the one through the goalie there. You had indicated uh, to me before the game that Paquette was one of the people to watch, and he certainly uh, was that in terms of getting a couple goals. Yeah, he's a great hockey player, like I said before the game there. And, uh, he, you know, he, he's got good vision. He moves his feet well, and, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully he gets something out of the season. I was uh, also very impressed with the usual of, of Sean Richards. Gosh, that, the uh, young, young, young fellow just never quits. He works hard, finishes his checks, and was rewarded with a goal tonight. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely works hard, and he you know, made a big improvement from last year where he kind of uh, would work hard and not so smart, and this year he's learned the game a bit more, and he's becoming a very effective hockey player out there. And As he continues to improve, he'll just be that much more dominant. I also thought that uh, Chase Olson had a good game tonight. He, uh, you know, he scored a goal, got a couple assists, worked hard, and uh, he was rewarded. Yeah, he's kind of like a one of those sticky fly papers where the puck just goes with him everywhere he goes, and you know. But that's what a natural goal scorer does. They just the puck doesn't leave their stick, and uh, he definitely works for it, and he gets it, and he get rewarded tonight, which was good to see. It was good to see uh, Mr. Gornson back in the lineup. Yeah, it was uh, really good to have Jack back. I think he was rusty the first two periods, and and the third he made a couple rushes there, and the guys on the bench were all cheering like we got Captain Jack back. So it's it's a good morale boost for the guys too. So um, who's coming up next? Uh, Friday we have Okotoks, who's got a very good hockey team as well. Um, you know, but fortunately we got all week to work on that and uh, go over them their game tape and and get prepared for that game. And the next home game, Saturday night? Yeah, I believe the Canucks are in town Saturday night, so it'll be a good rematch. Uh, hopefully we don't give up five goals and we can kind of uh, change up our tune there a bit, but I'm excited to see them back in Olds here. Well, have a good week and have a good week of practice and good luck on the weekend. Awesome, thank you. Watch Olds Community TV on Channel 148 on the ONET IPTV network or catch us on the web at www.octv.ca.